I guess the cat's out of the bag now, or maybe I should say dog. Uh, anyway, this is the new Beagle Bone Black, and we weren't supposed to be talking about it until this morning, but last night they lifted the embargo early, and so all the news sites have been covering it. We posted it to makezine.com, and I'm gonna talk about it here now. I'll, I'll get right to the details. First of all, one gigahertz ARM Cortex A8 processor. That's a super scalar processor, meaning it, it does two instructions per cycle. In other words, it's a fast processor. It's a good one. Uh, it has uh, 512 megabytes of RAM as opposed to the 256 on the original BeagleBone, and it has two, gigab two gigabytes onboard flash memory. It's an eMMC. This is a really cool feature. It's uh, preloaded with the Angstrom distribution of Linux, so you do not need to write to an SD card to get this guy to boot up. It'll boot up out of the box. Uh, if you do want to use an SD card and you want to boot off of it, you still have the micro SD card slot, or you can use that as just extra data storage if you'd like. Also on the back here, you have the micro HDMI port so that you can hook it up to a monitor. That's a great feature, and I love that. I plan to use that. I like that a lot. Um, and I think the biggest and best feature of the new BeagleBone, the BeagleBone Black, is its price, $45. That's quite incredible. The original BeagleBone was $89, so it's it's a huge, huge cut in price and brings it really, really close to the Raspberry Pi, which is $35 for the Model B. But there's some differences between the BeagleBone and the Raspberry Pi. You're, on the BeagleBone, you're getting a faster processor. You have that onboard, onboard flash memory. You're getting more input and output pins, um, uh, among just to name a few differences. So. I think the Raspberry Pi and the BeagleBone are make good options for, you know, they're, they're good substitutions for one another. Um, if you're doing a software project or you're doing something that's educational, you may want to stick with a Raspberry Pi because that's really focused on software and education. If, on the other hand, you're doing a hardware project, you may want to take a look at the BeagleBone because it's probably a bit more hardware friendly. It's got analog input, it's got PWM outputs, it's got more digital IOs. Um, and it's only $10 more, so I think that's a great thing. I think it's great for us makers that we have all these options. So between Raspberry Pi and BeagleBone, I think these are really, really good options, and I think people should be getting just as excited about the BeagleBone as they are about the Raspberry Pi. I also wanted to talk about getting started with BeagleBone and the book I'm working on. Uh, we're, today we're announcing the early release, or we're releasing the early release. As I work on the book, uh, we, uh, we can release chapters. So we've released four chapters, and the whole book is, is compatible with the original BeagleBone and the new BeagleBone Black. So if you have the old BeagleBone, you're not out of luck. You just need to upgrade the software, and you can do pretty much all the examples. There may be some that will deal with using the monitor, but there are ways around that as well. Um, it's going to be a lot like getting started with Raspberry Pi. It's going to have projects. It's going to lead you through things. So if you want to check out the early release, I'll put a link in the description below. What's cool about it is that, first of all, it's DRM free. So you can get PDF. It comes in Mobi and EPUB, the formats as well if you have an e-reader. Um, and you get updates as I update the as I update the book and as I upload chapters. So you'll get those updates and you'll get the final DRM free ebook when uh, the book is eventually published. So do check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. Be sure to read up on that and uh, let me know what you think if you do end up going for it. So big news today, really cool stuff. I'm excited about the Beagle Bone Black. I think you should be too. Uh, $45. That's big news. I think we're going to see some great stuff with this product, and I think it. I think we're only going to see some more great stuff in the future across the board when it comes to devices like these. So I want to hear what you think. Let me know. Leave a comment. Send me a tweet. Whatever you want. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye.